Welcome to an episode of my Linux driver tutorials. Today I want to show you a very basic function I haven't covered here on my series so far. So today I will introduce you to lock levels in the Linux kernels lock and how to use them in a Linux kernel module or a Linux driver. So as always I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH and let me navigate into my Linux driver tutorials folder. And until now, anytime I had to write something to the kernel's lock, what I used was print k. Just print k, then the message, and maybe if I had them, optional arguments. This was what I've used so far. But when you're using print k like this, the message which is print or which is printed to the kernel's lock doesn't have any lock levels. So what are log levels and which log levels are available on Linux? Well, therefore, let's consult the Linux kernel documentation. So here we have message logging with printk. And here we can see printk messages can specify a log level. So they can, they don't have to, because otherwise what I've done here wouldn't work. And basically the following log levels are available. So we have various names. We have strings representing them. So, and we have also some alias functions. So, yeah. The, so we have log levels starting from kernel message crit, uh, emergency over alert, critical, error, warning, notice, info, debug, default, which I've used so far, and kernel cont. And the way you're using logging levels is basically write them before the string you want to print out and then you can add optional arguments like it's done here. If you don't want to use something like this, there are alias functions available. So instead of print k kernel info, you can also use the pr info function here, basically. Okay, so let's implement a simple hello world kernel module and let's use some various log levels. So therefore I will copy my um, simple hello world Linux kernel module and I will create a new folder I will call log levels and I will navigate into it. So here we have two files, my module.c or, or is the source code for my hello world Linux kernel module and makefile is the makefile to build um, the Linux kernel module. And I want to rename it from my module to loglevels.c. And I have to change this in the makefile as well. Okay. So now let's open it up. And now I don't want to use print or printk standalone any longer. Instead, now I'm using printk, first specifying the log level. So let's start with log debug for a debug message. This is a debug message. Yeah, and that's basically it. And as we're used to it, we can still pass arguments to it like so. Maybe let's use some more interesting log levels like the error log level. Um, yeah, maybe an alert here. Okay, and in the exit function, Let's use the alias functions. So with PR info, we are doing a print k with a kernel info. Um, I think critical is something we haven't used yet. And one last, let's do an, a second error here. 
and that's basically it so let's try to compile it and then i will show you how the log levels behave in yeah in the kernel's lock okay so but why would you use such log levels well over this it's easier for you to filter for specific events i will show you how to do this just in a second and another thing or another cool thing is uh, because you can filter on them you can automatically parse your kernel's lock and you if you have alerts coming up scripts can react to it basically and also if you if you want to or you can set the lock level to what you want and when you're developing a driver maybe you want to set it in a way that it also shows debug um, lock level messages but then when you're done and you don't want to see the debug messages you can set the lock level to um, a level that they are only showing everything or everything until um, info but not debug for example okay so let me open up tmox so i can have a second window here and i will use the menu minus capital t capital w so t will convert the uptime st um, string which is also part of the kernel flock and turn it into an actual date and capital W will wait for new messages, but will only print new messages coming in and won't reprint the whole kernel's lock. Okay, so now let's load the module. And you can see here, yes, we have various formatting here. So here we have our debug message, here we have an info message, an error and an alert, and you can see each kernel lock level is formatted in a different way in the kernel's lock and the more critical like this alert here is very easy to see the debug message is not so formatted so yeah it's not so present another thing i want to show you is you can if you are only interested in messages of a specific log level, you can use D message minus L and then the number of the log level you're interested in. For example, if we only want to see debug log, we can use seven here. And now we are only seeing debug logs here. Or if you're only um, interesting in alerts, that's log level number one, then yeah, we can see the alerts here. Okay, so yeah. Let's also see if the alias functions are working. So when we're removing the module. Yes, so this is also working. Cool. Okay, so yeah, this was a very basic thing, but I think it was worth mentioning. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.